So in this video, we will talk about the importance of notes for the OCP. As someone with the OCP myself, I can absolutely tell you that notes is a lifesaver and it's important to structure your notes the right way. And I'm sure if you ask anyone else who also has the OCP, they will tell you just how important the notes have been for their success. But let me show you some simple examples. I made a very simple checklist for you guys. This is pretty much how you can use, this is the checklist part of notes. It's just the way that you can, for every machine that you have, you can do something cool. So you can do like, um, this is pretty much the checklist notes for different machines. So here you have standalones, you have a checklist process to follow, and then you also have for Privist, and then the same thing through Active Directory. You also have a checklist to follow that you can just check off as you go. And then the same thing with Privist. Now, we also have a note section right there where you can put your notes and you can put your creds and how you did the Privist, etc. This one is optional, the proof section. And then here is like the stuff that you would perhaps put as a tool output. But yeah, let's say that we are doing a new AD, AD mission. Then we can do right there. Uh, we can copy notes and sub notes. And then we can paste th note and sub notes. Let's uh, call this form AD machine three. Doesn't really matter. We can drag that one right there. And then as you can see, it maintains a lot of tags that it had to begin with, right? So now we can just pretty much just, yeah. So tagging, putting in that map stand, right? Take us the notes along the way, right? Like, right. uh, check engine act uh, for public exploits. F key open. Check for and uh, you get the point, right? Like this isn't meant to be pretty. This is pretty much just like stuff you write as you do the box, right? Just kind of like the press, you can uh, just dump your thoughts. Now, this is the this is the checklist thing that you can grab down below in the work community. You can pretty much just grab it for free, and I hope you liked it. But uh, I would also suggest you have another piece of notes as well. Now you could put all of this together, or you can have it separately. It's perfectly up to you. Now, personally, I don't really need a checklist anymore. It's made primarily for beginners that don't have a structured um, methodology yet, right? It's pretty much just to help plaque you guys for that. Um, now, these are the notes that are absolutely huge, as best you can see. I don't expect you guys to have insanely years to not book like this, but this is basically where I would keep all of my attacks, right? Where, let's say I don't remember how to do curb roasting. Uh, I don't remember the I shall learn the commands. Then right there, instantly, this is how to do curb roasting when it comes to Windows. And this is how to do curb roasting when it comes to Linux, right? It's remote impacted curb roasting. This is for, uh, yeah. this is a bunch of uh, things right here. The same thing for Azure Pros too. But the other point, this is just where you keep all of the stuff that you need, and uh, it's super, super helpful. You can grab this one as well inside of the EWAP, inside of the community, where we also have the 10 hour complete OCP course, plus a bunch more stuff that I think you will absolutely love. And if you try it out for free, the notes are crucial to have. So I suggest that you, whether you completely make your own, completely home scratch, or whether you just grab these and use them, that's perfectly up to you. But, just keep iterating as you go and keep building off a methodology as you go because notes are an absolute lifesaver. It has some other use as well. Let's say there's a service that you attacked, let's say three months ago on a random hack the box machine. You were struggling to find a proper public exploit that worked to your prop. You were struggling to understand how to exploit it properly. If you just note that down, then three months later, maybe, maybe even on yours, PXM, who knows? then you just instantly have it. So you don't have to go down memory lane or trying to recollect exactly how you did it when it was confusing to you the first time. You could just copy paste your own notes and you have it the same thing for Privis. Now I do this all the time. There's plenty of new random machines that I did it and I just search up some keywords, like for instance, some uh, group that I'm in in Windows for Privis or maybe some uh, SRD binary or capability or whatever when it comes to Linux production escalation. And then I just realized that, oh, I've already done this. And then I just copy paste from my notes and it's super helpful. Uh, I just said you can grab them down below if you want or you can make uh, your own. But it doesn't change the message that I showed you a way that you can take notes that I find personally to do useful. And yeah, I hope that uh, this was helpful to you. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.